Hello, boys and girls. Bill here, that owl guy. So, I have a lot of people asking me how do we call these owls in. <clears throat> and what we're doing is using our phone and a Bluetooth speaker. Okay? And I'm going to show you guys how to pair these up because I actually have a lot of people calling me who don't know how to pair them up. And that's understandable. And uh, then we're going to show you uh, how to call them in. Now, I'm not going to be able to pair this to this phone because it's actually paired to the phone I'm filming with. But I can show you the process. So all you gotta do, turn your phone on. All right. Let's get out of our screens. Go back to where we're at. Okay, so your original screen is a setting button. You wanna hit settings. Okay. When you get your speaker, you wanna go ahead and turn it on. Okay, when you turn it on, it's gonna say pairing. Okay, you wanna go down here to Bluetooth, hit Bluetooth. And that device, this is an ONN device, okay? That device should show up on your screen. All right? And all you wanna do is hit OK or Enter, and that's it. That's all you gotta do to pair them up. And as long as your speaker is on on your phone, and this is on, um, you're gonna have sound coming out of this. Okay, so if you're talking on your phone, uh, off the off your regular speaker you're actually speaking on the speaker on your phone you're going to hear it through this if you're playing music you're going to hear it through this okay so we're going to go ahead and set this up on our owl house and uh, i'm going to show you guys how this works okay so what we're going to do we're going to go to ebird then we're going to go to explore species and then we're going to put in eastern screech owl so here's how it goes. E-Bird. Go to Explore Species. And this page is going to come up. And then here, I'm going to put in, type in, or voice in Eastern Screech Owl. Eastern Screech Owl. That page is going to come up. So where it says listen, when you hit that listen button, it's going to start playing sounds from an Eastern Screech Owl. Now on the left hand side of your screen, and you'll see this in a minute, there's 10 different sounds. Don't concern yourself with all those. All you're concerning yourself with is the top two, okay? Um, the top one really gets a good response out of it, but it's a bit of an aggressive call. And the next one, is uh, the the trilling noise okay so those two calls are the only two calls you're going to use now remember they're going to be hooked up to your bluetooth device we now have hanging on an owl box and this is for an experiment later on that we'll walk you through later all right so this is what you're going to be playing out and you want to turn the volume up on that speaker and you want to hang on a minute Well, technical difficulties. There we go. All right. That's the sound you want. Or. Okay. Those are the only two sounds you're concerned with playing. All right. Let's turn this off. All right, so we're gonna go to our Bluetooth speaker over here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And since it's linked to this phone, I'll turn this off, turn it on, and then turn the phone back on and film. But you'll get the gist of things here in a minute. Okay, so what you can do, if your box is down low enough, you can just hang the speaker on the box. In this case, I'll run a screw in here, okay? Or, use a plant hanger something like that if the box is higher <clears throat> or you can take a wire coat hanger and put a double hook on it hang put one hook in the opening and then hang the speaker down below the box okay um, 
that works out great. Um, if your box is way up in a tree, like 10, 11, 12 feet, um, I prefer my customers stand under the box and do this. And you want to play those sounds from under the box. And a minute, two minutes, three minutes, whatever it takes. I've got screaming memes in my pool over here. Okay. So after a couple minutes of playing this, you may get a response from an owl out in the field. Okay. And he's going to immediately respond to you. So what you want to do, let him do his thing. And then you want to return the call back again. Okay. More often than not, you're going to have the owl fly in one or two or half a dozen owls may fly in on you and they're going to land like on this railing on that railing top of that light and those trees over there they can land anywhere around the area but they're going to land near the box and all you're trying to do is to get them to come to that uh, to see that box opening sooner than they would otherwise see it um, if they were just out foraging at night okay that's all you're trying to do and you want to do this for two or three nights in a row um, we've had a lot of people uh, this week who have done this it's October 1st and it's that time of year and they've had owls come in and the next day the owl has taken residence in the box and on top of all that my Labrador is going crazy but um, that's the gist of what you guys need to do and you need to hang with it okay feel free to turn the volume up um, typically we do this around dusk but anytime at night when the owls are out foraging so if you're a night bird go out there at midnight and do it go out there at 10 o'clock at night and do it if you're an early riser go out there at 4 o'clock in the morning and do it okay but you need to hang with it all right and you can do this all the way up till about February and after that I suggest you cut it off because uh, the birds are in mating mode and nesting mode at that point you're gonna start pulling birds off nests so you don't want to do that so between february and really june don't do this but uh if you want to try and draw the owls into your box get them near your box that's the technique to use and honestly uh, you may have some just fly in and go right to the box you may take them a few days um, you may have some owls that are really aggressive coming in they may they may dive bomb you or uh they may just settle right in so be prepared for anything but uh that's the technique for calling these owls in all right guys hope this helps